Brevin Howard. And it's, what's interesting to me, he's making a big bet on blockchain right. uh, and m maybe some initial coin offerings, maybe some companies involved in blockchain. But they were very careful in saying this is his money. Right. This is not Brevin Howard. Brevin Howard is not going into cryptocurrency. He is. It's interesting they really want to make clear what's going where. And, and part of the reason is, in the same way people have been worried about Oxif, People have been worried about Brevin Howard. Worst year ever last year. And so they have to be very careful. Probably if, if it was a time where everybody was feeling really good about the firm, they'd be like, yeah, we're doing this, we're doing that. Um, you know, the, our very smart founder you know, has this idea, but they're being very careful, as you say, to delineate these two. And at a time, the SEC is saying, we're actually investigating hedge funds going into crypto because right. we think there's some exactly. shenanigans going on. And there. it is interesting when you think about sort of the, the list of who's going in and who is avoiding it. You know, you've seen some big skeptics, Jamie Dimon along the way, Warren Buffett, and then on the other side you have a Mike Novogratz who is very bullish uh, on Bitcoin and crypto. And John McAfee. Okay, he's back. <laughs> we love talking about this guy. Uh, he's back. Well, and uh, speaking, gonna... speaking of people where you're like, oh great, John McAfee yeah. is getting involved in this. <laughs> How do you Su feel about that? Super. Uh, so he's basically joining Crypto Secure. Reportedly that's a firm that says it offers, quote, hack-proof security solutions for the digital coin industry. Industry. Phew! Hack -proof, ha hack proof security solutions. Well, the other thing that jumped out at me about this story is this is a company that's backed by another firm called Key Capital, which is described as a company focused on precious metal mining, fintech, and cancer treatments. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, it's like peanut know, butter and sure. jelly. You know? So I know the crypto markets right now are getting crushed. We're about to uh, see Bitcoin go under 8,000. Um, I have a lot of buy orders that are being hit, uh, especially with Ethereum. I uh, placed my buys. So I'm buying a lot of crypto right now, and I'm going to have to agree with the billionaire that I think that this is a great deal right now. Uh, you'll see me picking up as much assets as I can, and um, it is what it is. I, I'm not worried about it. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of kooks in the market that make crypto look bad. And a perfect example is John McAvey with his comments and his innuendos. But I'm not worried about it. Uh, if a billionaire is putting his own money, not even his hedge fund money, into crypto, um, I'm going to do the same. Now, I'm not putting my entire net worth into cryptocurrencies. Um, but long term, I think it's going to be a great investment. And I still stand by uh, what I've said. If you follow this channel, that this 300 billion market cap is going to be short lived and we will easily see this triple and uh, go over one trillion by the end of the year. Um, so I'm not worried about this crash. It's sad. It's depressing. But I am still very optimistic, just like this billionaire, and I will continue to put orders. And if the price drops for Bitcoin and Ethereum, I'm going to be picking up. I'm also looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. I will, you know, if they go down far enough, I'm buying. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, well, what are you guys doing in this uh, terrible uh, market right now? But hey, I mean, Bill, uh, Warren Buffett said this is this is when you want to be greedy, right? Be greedy when others are fearful. So a little Warren Buffett quote to motivate you guys and have a great day. And if you haven't had a chance, please subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you guys soon.